The council is also busy constructing dry pit toilets to rural communities as it feels duty bound to promote hygiene and good health for the people. Under the Arambe toilets, uh, during 2017-18 financial year, the budget of 15 million was allocated to construct 476 toilets in the Taras region under the Harambe Prosperity Plan. Under that program, 154 toilets were constructed at Aus at a cost of $3.9 million. Currently, construction of sewer services in Aus is underway to connect the last part of the settlement to the main sewer. Another 96 ablution facilities across the region will also be constructed. Of these, 56 are in Kate Mansup Ileni informal settlement and were handed over recently. Persiva constituencies, constituency uh, under Kosa settlement, 20 toilets in the tune of 600,000 and the project progress is 99% and is expected to be completed by the end of March 2019. And then Karasberg East constituency, that is Gruno settlement, 20 toilets at the tune of 600,000 Namibian dollars. And the project is 90% completed and is estimated to be complete by the end of March 2019. Meanwhile, 82 flush toilets were handed over to residents at Bursaba, while at Kurs village, 240 toilets are under construction. At Bethany Village, 100 new toilets were built last year. And the region hope for additional funding in order to cover the remaining urban areas affected. Skold is confident that in the next five years, each household in the Karas region will be provided with proper sanitation.